With the increasing competition from Russia and China, the United States is also continuously developing advanced non-nuclear weapons to maintain its advantage in this field, especially in the realm of non-counter missiles. Currently, U.S. fighter jets are equipped with two types of non-nuclear missiles, namely the AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile AMRAAM, and the AIM-9 Sidewinder. However, these weapons were designed during the era of fourth-generation fighter jets, with external mounting systems that reduce the aircraft's stealth capability, making them less effective in dealing with new threats and requiring improvement to meet the need for future power enhancement. Today, let's learn about the new non-nuclear weapons of the United States, which are expected to replace AMRAAM and AIM-9 in the near future. One, AIM-260. The AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile (JATM) is being developed by the U.S. company Raytheon and is expected to replace the current U.S. non-nuclear missile, the AIM-120 (AMRAAM). The AIM-260 missile is designed to be able to target airborne and longer-range targets than the AMRAAM, with the ability to destroy targets from a distance of more than 50% compared to the AMRAAM. One of the notable features of the AIM-260 missile is its use of ramjet propulsion technology, which enables the missile to achieve higher speeds and longer ranges than previous types of missiles. With this capability, the AIM-260 missile can destroy targets from very far away, which other current missiles cannot do. However, the AIM-260 missile also faces some challenges, because the size of the missile is too large to be carried in the payload bay of fifth-generation stealth fighter jets such as the F-22 and F-35, the AIM-260 missile will have to be carried outside the aircraft. This may reduce the aircraft's security as the AIM-260 missile is not designed to be stealthy. Nevertheless, the AIM-260 missile is still seen as an important addition to the U.S.'s combat capabilities especially in the context of the need to develop advanced non-nuclear weapons to counter competitive rivals such as Russia and China. 2. LREW This missile is also one of Raytheon's new missiles. The long-range engagement weapon, LREW missile, can be used on fourth-generation fighter jets like the AIM-260. However, the missile is too large to be carried inside the weapon bay of fifth-generation fighter jets. Therefore, if it is equipped on F-22 or F-35, it will have to be mounted under the wings of these fighter jets. Although not much information has been revealed about the capabilities of LREW, because it is not limited by size, it may open up some very interesting possibilities. One of these possibilities could be a ramjet engine system, similar to the European Meteor missile, which could provide an impressive speed and range that no current F-35 missile can match. LREW is designed as a long-range non-nuclear missile, specifically designed to attack airborne targets from farther away, allowing fighter jets to approach hard-to-reach targets such as upcoming 6th generation stealth unmanned aircraft and other airborne targets effectively from a safe distance. However, its ramjet engine can make this missile very complex and expensive, and it will require a special type of fighter jet to deploy it most effectively. 3. Peregrine Peregrine is a compact non-nuclear missile also developed by Raytheon. Designed for use on new generation fighter jets such as the F-35, the Peregrine missile has the ability to attack targets not only at close range but also at long range. It is also equipped with decoy technology and noise reduction features to increase security and attack capabilities. Peregrine is extremely compact, allowing for more to be carried on fighter jets compared to other traditional missiles. It's designed to interact with unmanned aircraft and can also be launched from ground bases, warships, and transport ships. One of the advantages of the Peregrine missile is its compatibility with the electronic and software systems of new generation fighter jets, such as the F-35. It also has the ability to deceive enemy air defense systems, and carry out attacks from different directions. 4. MAM MAM stands for Miniature Air-to-Air -air Missile, a new type of compact missile capable of destroying airborne targets from a distance. 
It is designed for use on lightweight fighter jets, with a size of only about 2 feet, approximately 60 centimeters, and a weight of about 6.5 kilograms, MAM can be carried both externally or internally in the weapon bay of fighter jets. MAM is equipped with the long-range guidance system and automatic guidance mode, which increase the accuracy and ability to destroy enemy targets. In addition, this type of missile is also equipped with the noise control system to minimize the risk of being detected and attacked. MAM has been tested and perfected and is currently being equipped on some types of US fighter jets. It is considered one of the most modern and effective non-nuclear missiles of the US in destroying airborne targets. 5. LRAAM LRAAM stands for Long Range Anti-Ship Missile, a new type of long-range missile developed by Boeing that can respond to today's sea-based threats. LRAAM can engage targets at a distance of over 230 miles, about 370 kilometers, and is equipped with the long-range sensor that allows it to detect and identify targets from a distance. It also has the ability to automatically search and identify sea-based targets, ensuring accuracy and reliability when attacking. LRAAM is designed to be used on a variety of US fighter jets, including F-A-18, F-15, F-16, and F-35. This missile can operate independently or be controlled from a ground-based control center, ensuring flexibility in attack deployment. The deployment of LRAAM shows that the US is concerned about the ability to destroy sea-based targets, especially in the context of China's increasing military capabilities in the South China Sea. This missile provides the US with the ability to attack from a distance and is an important factor in maintaining US military superiority at sea. 6. CUDA The CUDA missile project is being researched and developed by the well-known US weapons manufacturer Lockheed Martin. This project is one of the US military's top secret projects. Although it was created around 2012, very little information about this missile type has been disclosed so far. CUDA is a small size short range air to air missile. An F 35 can carry up to 12 CUDA missiles inside its fuselage. The US military hopes that CUDA will make a difference for the F 35 compared to other fifth generation fighters in the world. The CUDA missile is equipped with a range of very advanced technologies. Experts believe that CUDA plays an important role in helping the F-35 gain an advantage over its opponents in air combat. The guidance system equipped for the CUDA missile is very unique, allowing them to destroy targets with kinetic energy. That is, the missile's warhead with high speed hits the target straight, rather than exploding and spreading shrapnel like most missiles today. To achieve this feature, the CUDA missile must be accurately guided almost absolutely. In summary, the development of new air-to-air -air missiles is crucial for the US, especially as it invests heavily in developing new generation fighter jets. These missiles are designed to be used on fifth generation fighter jets such as the F-22 and F-35, with the ability to engage air targets at longer ranges than current missiles used by US fighters. However, the US needs to consider competition from Russia and China both of which are developing advanced air-to-air -air weapons with longer ranges, including Russia's R-37 and China's PL-15. Developing new air-to-air -air missiles will help the US ensure a first-kill capability and maintain a leading position in the international arms race. And that's all the content for today. What do you think about this story? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Now goodbye, and see you again.